Thanks for staying with us. Well, there are no strangers to performing for special audiences around the world, and the Bahamas National Youth Choir will be taking their show on the road for King Charles's coronation next month. The choir director Dexter Fernandez shares more on how it all came together and how you can watch on the day of the big event. So, after submissions, which is the deadline on Monday, they will select individuals from the countries that will be invited to be that 300 voice choirs. So the selection starts. We are hopefully we can get six of our uh, behemoths in there. Um, the selection happens after the submission on Monday, and we'll know exactly the the contingent that will be able to go to London. But we will still be a part of the virtual concert. The Bahamas National Youth Choir has been invited to join with the 300-member Commonwealth Choir that will perform during a special concert at Windsor Castle. The BBC is producing a special that will air the day after the event from that same venue. On May 6, King Charles will be crowned alongside Queen Consort Camilla. The king ascended the throne last September. This exercise is a symbolic religious ceremony set for Westminster Abbey, where the crown will be physically placed on the monarch's head. Fernando says the cultural ambassadors are in full preparation mode. We went into the studios, did our um, voice, and submitted all of those two for approvals. The challenge has been to identify a bohemian costume. Um, native costumes that does not have branding or labels on it as you could find in unique places with a, under a tight schedule and tight budget that would represent the country to the best what would identify us from an African country or other people in the diaspora the Bahamas National Youth Choir has performed all around the world but Fernanda views this latest invite as a humbling one last year we did Carnegie Hall so we can boast that we are the first choir to sing on both of the stages at the Carnegie Hall. Then, of course, we were at the International Folk Festivals in France, and then to see if we circling back to London where we are being invited to participate. It's a humbling experience. It shows the, the strength of the organization. For 40 years we've been around, um, and the quality of work that we're presenting, and we hope that the Bahamas is pleased by what they see from the car. We are hoping that Bahamas would do watch parties and share on hashtag Bahamas National Youth Choir when they see us out there.